Somaliland declared independence in 1991, but never received recognition. Now, the breakaway region of Somalia says it has been promised just that from one country, Ethiopia. This will be the starting point for our cooperation with the brotherly people of Somaliland to grow and develop together in cooperation and to ensure our common security. As we have repeatedly stated previously, we do not wish to use force on anyone. Rather, we will use what we have cooperatively. Following the announcement, thousands of protesters gathered in Mogadishu to express their anger. Somalis reject what they view as a failed attempt by landlocked Ethiopia to gain access to Red Sea ports. We came here to show that we are ready to defend our territory and our coastal lands. Not one inch of our territory is for sale. Somali land leader Musebihi can't give it away. Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, the Somali president, can't give it away either, and nor can anybody else. Somalia is hoping for support from a region that's already facing major security threats caused by Houthi attacks on Israeli and allied ships. And Mogadishu wants to ensure that the conflict does not flare up into violence. No one has the power to give away a piece of Somalia. Our grandfathers refused, our forefathers refused, and our mothers refused. We ourselves refuse to give away our land, and it is not possible. Somali people will never accept it. While Ethiopia may believe access to the Red Sea is vital for its economy and security, Somaliland's claim of independence is now a threat to stability in the Horn of Africa. Obaidehito, TRT World.